Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Alfred from Practical Code Academy. Welcome to a new how-to video. Uh, in this video, we're going to explain how to create uh, a toggle switch. So the two toggle switches that we're going to be built together is this two toggle switches. As you can see, you can turn it on and off. And we're going to be building one circular and one in a square shape uh, toggle switch. I hope you're going to like this video and let's get started. Okay, I'm going to create a folder for this project. I'm going to create, call it toggle switch. I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create my index.html. Also, I'm going to create a styling sheet. So I'm going to call it style.css. For the HTML, I'm going to generate a boilerplate using Emmet. I'm going to uh, type down the exclamation mark and press enter or tap. I'm going to change the title here. Toggle switches. For the, for the body itself or the, the markup here, it's, it's pretty much simple. I just an header one tag. just to put a title for the, this page or this document. I'm gonna call it toggle switches. And I'm gonna use an input with a type checkbox. I'm gonna give it a class of toggle dash one. We're gonna work in the circular toggle switch first and then we're gonna copy it and, and, and just adjust it to, to make it a uh, square toggle switch. So I'm gonna keep, that, keep it this way. I'm gonna do my screen like this. Open it with the live server. I'm gonna put it on the side like this. Now I'm gonna go for my style file. And for the body, I'm going to give it a background color of E5, E5, E5. And it didn't change because I forgot to link my style sheet here. So I'm going to link it real quick. I'm going to do style.css. And now, as you can see, the background become like a light gray color. Now I'm going to get back to the styling. I'm going to give the height of the 100% of the viewport height. Next, I'm going to target my H1 tag here. And I'm going to font family. I'm going to change the font to Arial. I'm also going to change the font size to 3 RAM. I'm going to align it to the center. So text align center. Also, I'm going to give it a margin top. Or we can do margin top and bottom. I'm going to give it 50 pixels and left and right zero. That's it for my H1. Now let's do the checkbox here. This is a regular HTML checkbox. What I want to do is make it disappear or make this disappear. To make it disappear, it's very simple. I'm going to select the class, which in that case toggle dash one. To make it disappear, all you need to do is appearance none. And it's not going to work with Google Chrome and Firefox because you need to add a prefix. So the prefix you're going to need for the Chrome and the Firefox is the WebKit uh, appearance. In that case, none. And now it's disappeared. For the Firefox, you need the prefix MOZ and then appearance none. Okay, now we make it disappear. We're just putting one property with different prefix. We make it disappear. Now we can play with the width and the height and the background color. 
So I'm going to do width of 100 pixel, height of 50 pixel, and can I give it a background color? By default, I'm going to give it a green. And this green is dark. So when I put it like it's going to look like this. So I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to hover over it and select the lighter color. And I'm, I want the hex value. So I'm going to click on the RGBA to switch it to hex and save it. And now I get this. However, it get disappeared, but it maintained its status. So you can check if it's checked or not uh, using the CSS checked uh, pseudo selector. After the background, I'm going to give it like a box shadow. And I want the box shadow to be inside. So I'm going to use the inset keyword. I'm going to do three pixel, three pixel, and six pixels, RGPA of 0, 0, 0, and the opacity 0 0.4. And they're going to give you this effect of the inset shadow for the inside of the shape. I'm going to do the border radius. In that case, I want the corners to be rounded. So I'm going to do 25 pixels. The position relative. And the reason for that, we're going to have another shape that's going to go inside it. Uh, and we want it to be relative to the this this shape so we need to keep this relative and now i can put another circle that i'm going to put it inside as the toggle dash one before pseudo class and this is going to resemble the circle that's inside the toggle switch so i need to put the content in that case no, we're not adding any content so it's just empty content the background will be just a radial gradient. In that case, I want to go from white to a darker gray. So actually, I'm going from white to light gray to dark gray. And when I save this, you're not going to see anything because you didn't set the height or the width. So I'm going to set the height. In that case, it's going to be a similar height as I set it in the toggle one here which is going to be 50 pixel. For the width, it's going to be half of it, which is going to be also 50 pixel. I'm going to do position absolute. And now I see it over here. The next step, as you can see, it's, it's a square. So I can, I can make the corner rounded using border radius 50% to make it circle. And now it's circle. Okay, what else we need to do here? We want to set the top to be zero and the left to be zero, which is already the default values here. Next, uh, I want to put the word on here. So I used the before pseudo class to create the circle. I'm gonna create now use the after pseudo class to put the text inside the toggle switch. So I'm going to do toggle one after and content. Now I want to put a text, which in that case is going to be the, the word on. And also the position will be absolute. And is, as you can see right now, it's, it's right here because it's a, by the default, it's top zero, left zero. Now I need to change the font size. I'm going to make it one rem. The color, I'm going to make it dark gray. And the font weight, I'm going to make it 700. Let's save this. Okay, look good. Now the top, I want it to be 50%. Now, as you can see, if you put a line here, which is the center, it's going to start after this line, which is the 50% in that case. Now, to center it exactly in the center, we need to transform, translate. And in that case, we're going to translate the y-axis, which is, is going to be the second. Uh, we start first with the x-axis here, and then the y-axis. We want to tr translate negative 50%. And as you can see, now it's going to center it. But I also want to center it uh, horizontally. 
no, only vertically. So I'm going to do the left to be 50%. And that's going to put it right here. I want to push it a little bit here. So I'm going to, instead of 0%, I'm going to add 10%. Okay. Probably add a 20%. Yep, that's looked perfect. And that's it. This is the initial shape without the, the checkbox being checked. Now, I want to, when I check the box, when I click on it, I want it to be toggled. And as you can see here, I forget to make the outline none. So I'm going to go back here, outline none. And then when I click on it to check it, it's not going to have this outline again. Now I need to check the, the, the check status. So I'm going to do that by toggle one checked. And if it get checked, I want to access this before, which is the circle here. And instead of having left zero, I want to do the left 50%. So I'm going to do the before, and then if it get checked or the user click on it, I wanted the, the circle here to move to the left 50%. So the left will be 50%, as you can see right now, because it's checked, unchecked, checked, unchecked. I also, the after here, I want to change the content and move the text here to the left. So I'm going to do toggle dash one, checked, if it get checked. Uh, after, the content will be, in that case, off. And the left will be zero. Let's give it a try. Yep, look good. On, off, on, off. I want the off to be color uh, white, which in that case, FFF. And also, when it's off, I want the background here to be red. To, to do that, the background here of the element itself, which is the checkbox, so I need to come here, which is the toggle one, checked. I'm not accessing it, the before or the after just the element itself. The background here, color, I want to turn it to red. And now it's red. Now when I click on it, however, I need to add some transition here because it's happening so fast, it's not smooth. To do that, I gotta go for the toggle itself here and I need to do transition. And I'm gonna do all, which is gonna take half seconds. Now, let's test it. As you can see, the background get uh, transition. Now I need for the before also do the transition. So I'm gonna copy this, paste it here. Now what we need to do, uh, we have here, the after is in the top of this circle here. And that's why when I, when I click on it, you see the text here showing up on top of the circle. To fix this problem, you simply here adding the Z index, we're gonna, we're gonna bring the circle on top of the text to two. And down here, I'm gonna do the Z index to one. And let's see, now it's working perfect. Okay, now let's center it in the middle of the screen and you can achieve that. I forgot actually to do something here. This is need to be displayed as block. Nothing gonna come next to it. It's gonna knock the set next element to the bottom. Display block. And let's put it in the center of the screen. And to do that, all you need to do is just margin. Top and bottom, I'm gonna give it 100 pixel. Left and right, I'm gonna do it auto. And now it's in the middle of the screen, as you can see. Now let's work on the square toggle switch and it's going to be similar i'm going to take a copy of this and i'm going to call it toggle 2 and i'm going to take everything here except the body and the h1 just everything that have to do with toggle 1 copy it down and after i copy it now all i need to change the, the here to toggle 2 
a class to toggle to save it now it's look similar now what I need to do any border width or any border radius property that we give to that element we will take it out so I'm gonna actually keep it uncommented here also we have another border radius and as you can see now we don't need this radial gradient so I'm gonna take this out which is gonna give it a regular background and in that case I'm gonna get give it e5 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 save it and you cannot see it because it's similar to the background so I'm gonna give it a darker one which is ccc to see it better I'm gonna actually add a box shadow zero pixel zero pixel five pixel rgpa zero four and now you can see it much better because now it's have the border shadow and now on and off okay that's it guys i hope you liked today's video and if you do like it hit the like button and also in the comment tell me which one you like is it the rounded one or the square one put your comment down let me know which one you prefer if you're not subscribed to our channel please subscribe and see you in the next video